All right, kiddos, we are working on traditional multiplication. And today, the supplies we're going to need are four different colored markers and a pencil and maybe some notebook paper. So if you wanna go push pause and get all of your supplies ready to go, we will get started. All right, so we're working with traditional multiplication, nothing fancy. We've got a little acronym to help us remember the steps to be successful with our multiplication. Many zoos, many animals. So M, many is gonna help us remember that our first step is to multiply. Um, so we will start with that. All right, first step, multiply. I'm gonna circle my ones digit right here. This is the first one that we're gonna start with. So we do our ones digit times our other ones digit. Draw a little arrow to help us remember that. Six times three is 18. And then just like addition, we're gonna carry that one. Six times seven is 42, plus that leftover one gives us 43. And now we're done. We multiplied all of our digits by our ones digit, and now we're ready to move on. So many zoos, many animals. So zoos, Z stands for our placeholder zero. So we're getting ready to multiply by our tens digit. And before that, we need to make sure that we account for the fact that we're gonna multiply by our tens digit by including a placeholder zero. All right. Next, we've got many zoos, many stands for multiply again. So we're gonna get ready to multiply by our tens digit. So I'm gonna circle this guy since I've got a blue marker and it's a little darker. And I'm gonna draw an arrow to the ones digit up top because that's where we start. Seven times three is 21. Carry the two just like addition. Seven times seven is 49. Plus two gives us 51. And now we're done with the multiplication because there aren't any more numbers for us to multiply. Many zoos, many animals. A stands for add. So our final step says step three. Step four is to add all of our numbers together. The numbers that we multiplied by our ones digit and the numbers that we multiplied by our tens digit. Eight plus zero is eight. Three plus one is four. Four plus one is five, and nothing plus five is five. All right, so there's our quick little acronym in action. We're gonna now look at some of these smaller practice problems out to the side and show you how we can use the acronym many zoos, many animals to help us sort through these as well. If you're just beginning with traditional multiplication, you might use the acronym as a checklist. So I invite you to write many zoos, many animals, M-Z-M-A, and we'll use it like a checklist. I'm gonna circle that ones digit to remind me that's where I start. And maybe even draw an arrow to help you remember where your first step is. So five times three is 15. Carry the one just like addition. Five times two is 10. Plus one gives us 11. And now we are done with our first little bit of multiplication. Many zoos, so now we need our placeholder zero before we start multiplying by our tens digit. Check that off. Many zoos, many animals, so M stands for multiply. So now I'm gonna multiply by my tens digit. Maybe draw a little arrow if that helps you remember which number you're starting with. One times three is three. Nothing to carry over, so we just keep multiplying. 
2 times 1 is 2. So we are done with our multiplication. And then our last step, many zoos, many animals, is to add them up. Add the numbers that we got when we multiply by our ones digit. Add the numbers when we multiply by our tens digit. Nothing fancy. Regular multiplication, or regular addition, rather. And now we are all set. We can check that off the list. All right, we'll try it again. So I'll start with our acronym, many zoos, many animals, and use it as a checklist. So M stands for multiply. We start with our ones digit. Five times four is 20, carry the two. Four times three is 12, plus two is 14. Right, and then we can check that off the list. We multiplied by our ones digit. Maybe get rid of that plus two since that was from our ones digit and we're done with it. Many zoos. So now we need our placeholder zero. Check that off. And now we can multiply by our tens digit. Maybe draw an arrow just to help you remember where you go. Three times five is 15. Carry the one. Three times three is nine. Plus one gives us 10. Check that off because we finished multiplying by that tens digit. And our last step, many zoos, many animals, which stands for add. So zero plus zero is zero. Four plus five is nine. One plus zero is one. And then nothing plus one is just one. And there we are. Now our last one, we have a three digit by three digit number, but we're not gonna treat this one any differently. Right, many zoos, many animals. Okay, so M stands for multiply. We start with our ones digit. Three times five is 15, carry the one. Five times two is 10, plus one gives us 11. Carry that one, just like addition. Five times one is five, plus one is six. And now, we're all done with our multiplication. Many zoos. Zoos reminds us that we need that placeholder zero because we're about to multiply by the tens digit. So we're done with that. We can circle that tens digit and maybe mark through these leftovers from before. And maybe draw an arrow to remind you what direction we're starting with, or what number we're starting with. So two times three is six. Two times two is four. Two times one is two. All right, now we are done multiplying by our tens digit, but you'll notice it looks like we can't go to our last step with just to add them up, because we still have a hundreds digit to multiply. So we're gonna back up a little bit. We multiplied, but it looks like we're gonna need another placeholder zero before we multiply by this hundreds digit. So let's just pause. Before we multiply by our tens digit, we added one placeholder zero to account for our tens digit. Well, how many zeros do we have in 10? one, so we used one placeholder zero. We're getting ready to multiply by our hundreds digit. 100 has two zeros in it, so we're gonna use two placeholder zeros to account for our hundreds digit. All right, we're multiplying by the hundreds digit, so we need those two placeholder zeros. All right, now we can start. Multiply by your hundreds digit. We do the same thing though. We start all the way over here on the right side. Three times three is nine. Three times two is six. And three times one is three. Right, now we finish our multiplication. And now we can go on to that last step, which is to add them all up. Five plus zero plus zero is five. One plus six is seven. Six plus four is 10, plus nine gives us 19, carry the one. One plus two is three, and three plus six is nine. 
And then there we go. We just had an extra step because we had a hundred digit to multiply. All right, so I definitely encourage you to utilize that many zoos, many animals as a checklist if you're first getting started. Then I have another little nugget for you. If you find yourself having a little trouble with organization and maybe some messy work, my biggest suggestion is to utilize dun, 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 our favorite, of course, notebook paper. But instead of using it like you normally would, I would suggest to turn it so that you've got some horizontal lines to help keep your numbers lined up. For example, if we had the problem, I don't know, let's do 36 times 53. I've got all of my numbers lined up vertically, so it's gonna help make sure we're not squishing any over to one side or the other. And then I'm gonna jot down many zoos, many animals as my checklist, especially if I'm a beginner, and go through my process. M stands for multiply. Start with my ones digit. Three times six is 18. Carry the one. Three times three is nine. Plus one gives us 10. So every number gets its own column. All right, check it off. Many zoos, Z stands for placeholder zero. Check that off. And again, why do we have a placeholder zero? We're getting ready to multiply by our tens digit and need to shift everything over a little to account for that. All right, now I'm gonna multiply by our tens digit. And you can maybe draw an arrow if you're still trying to remember what direction to go in. Five times six is 30, carry that three. Five times three is 15 plus 3 gives us 18 and again every number gets its own column then our last step is to add we're not doing anything too fancy keeping it nice and straightforward and simple all right there we go traditional multiplication many zoos many animals you can utilize the checklist and of course the nugget for today was to utilize notebook paper, but instead of using it normally how we would, just turn it sideways so that all of your numbers are in their own column to help with organization. All right, kids, 